Hey, so this week we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to end up building something for my grandfather who recently passed away, kind of a in memory of little art project. And my grandpa was a avid fisherman, and he and I went fishing a lot, and it's one of the things we really enjoyed doing together. And so to uh, kind of cherish and steal that memory forever, I want to build a little memento to him. So this is just kind of a rough idea. Um, build something where it's got a base that's an inch or so thick so the boat can sit in it so it looks like it's floating in water with a canoe and a fish and pull on it. And then build it where it's like a body of water so it'll be an inch thick all the way around this. And then on the bottom side just put a little stuff for me in regards to uh, who my grandfather was. So with that, I just found a picture of an old canoe. I'm gonna be using that as a reference and drew this as kind of the main shape I want for the uh, side profile of it. And we're gonna be using these 3 16 rods along with my anvil and a torch if needed, depending on how much I need to bend the piece that I'm working on. So let's get to it. So we got the rough outline of the boat, or canoe I guess we're going to call it, set up and ready to go. This little hot so I'm just going to hit the glove here, but you can see we got the bow left to right and the top edges of the canoe done as well. Uh, not quite proportioned the way I'd want it to be for the image I was drawn, but uh, it's going to work. So now all we're going to do is start to cut. Uh, some more of this small solid round and make it look like a wooden canoe made out of round logs. So that's the plan for filling this and then we will add a couple paddles and a fishing pole and then work on the base from there. Alright so I started to fill in some of the uh, sections to make it look like wood logs like I was telling you about and I initially just cut them 90 on each side and it worked good for the top edge in the front edge but if we look on the inside here you can see doing that left a big gap and that's why this was a little hard to fill I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time kind of uh, welding and grinding that back to make that a smooth transition so moving forward my plan for my next couple is to put a beveled edge down there so that when I put let me just slide this off a little bit when I put that next row in it lines up much closer and that's going to make tying that in with that main rod using silicon bronze a lot easier. So that's the plan moving forward. Let's get the rest of these done and we'll come back and take a look at it. Alright so we got the top part finished up. This is the uh, non welded together side looking pretty good and then you can see once we actually go through and put some silicon bronze on there it fills in really nice. Now we're going to do the same thing for the bottom as well. 
So the plan is to heat up, tack into place, and then bend it along as we go and cut it to fit at the end. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Alright, boat is done. All we gotta do is a little silicone bronze on the edges and we will be good to go. So here's the final result, nice little uh, scenery of a canoe on a little pond fishing with the words gone fishing on there. Just a project I needed to do to help me uh, work through losing my grandpa and it's something I ended up giving to my mom to hopefully help her with it as well. Just something to remember him by. Like always, 
Leave a comment if you have any, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.